And now to the ongoing effort to rein in record inflation. The Federal Reserve yesterday, as expected, raising a benchmark interest rate by another three quarters of a point. Now it's at a 14-year high. Wow, that rate impacts what you pay on everything, from your credit cards to your car loans. And the news, it sent the stock market tumbling. The Dow dropped 500 points. NASDAQ down more than 3%. All right, here to put it all in perspective, CNBC's Melissa Lee. Melissa, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody expected yeah. this. Yes. The Fed did exactly what the markets were expecting, and yet they still tumbled. Yeah. Why is that? We learned a couple of things in the news conference after the statement was released. First of all, that the end point of rates at the end of this tightening campaign will be higher. So when the Fed is done raising rates, that final rate will be higher than what we thought. Also, we learned that the Fed will keep those rates at that level, at a higher level for a more sustained period of time. Mm. There had been this thinking on Wall Street that once the Fed reaches that terminal rate, the endpoint rate, it will reverse course. It will pivot, so to speak, and actually start cutting rates. Uh. And the Fed put that to bed yesterday. So what is the Fed looking at? Like, what are the numbers that they look at and say, oh, that's a good number? That means things have turned around. What are they looking for? They're looking at the monthly inflation numbers, consumer price index uh, number that we get. We're getting an employment rate uh, number this, this Friday. Um, but it, the unemployment rate remains at 3.5 percent. It's a half century low. Yeah. The Fed needs to start seeing that tick higher. I know that sounds awful to most Americans out there, but that's what we need to see to, to get the economy just a little bit slower here. So everybody's been wondering, does this mean we're headed to recession? Some yeah. say, you know, when we had two quarters of consecutive negative growth, that is the traditional definition of a recession. Did what the Fed chair say yesterday, that the interest rates are going higher and they'll stay that way longer, does that make a recession more likely? Not necessarily. The Fed was asked specifically about the notion of a quote unquote soft landing, that we could actually end this campaign and and escape relatively unscathed. And he said the window is getting smaller, but it's still possible. A lot of people out there, economists, they think that it is much more likely that we will not end in that scenario, which would be the best case scenario. Okay. CNBC's Melissa Lee, thank you very much. Thanks, Melissa. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.